provocative. So I, just think about this. If I could put cells there to rejuvenate that, we'd be in great shape. But I think, Oprah, the stem cell debate is dead. And I'll tell you why. We would take stem cells in theory and put it through a trocar like this yeah. and inject it into the brain from the right spot and would come up and poke its head in there and we'd be able to put cells in there to replace that. Really? And that's what the hope was. The problem with, st with embryonic stem cells is that embryonic stem cells come from embryos, yeah. like all of us were made from embryos, and those cells can become any cell in the body, but it's very hard to control them, and so they can become cancer. But in the time of all this fighting we've had, which did slow down, I think, a lot of this research, there have been a huge amount of changes made. And in the last year, we've made a 10 years of advancement. Think in about the last that. year, we've advanced 10 years. Yeah. We, made, we went places we never thought we'd go, and here's what the deal is. I can take a little bit of your skin, take those cells, get them to go back in time so they're like they were when you were first made. And then they will start to make that dopamine. And I think those cells, because they won't be as prone to cancer and because they're your genes, will be the ones that are ultimately used to cure Parkinson's. And no one can tell how fast we can do this, but I've talked to a lot of experts in this field, and I think we're single digit years away mm -hmm. from making a big impact in the lives of Parkinson's disease, but also diabetics, heart attack victims. People have had a lot of single problems. Single digits Single away? digit years. Wow. So in other words, it could be eight, nine years. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. <laughs> but yeah. it's going to be in our lifetime. And yeah. that's exciting, uh, to, I think, to all of us in medicine. Mm -hmm. Thank you.